morning folks. This morning soap is brought to us by Fanny Lane. The name of this one here is Fresh Tree and the scent is uh, like a fresh cut pine, pine tree. And now that I've bounced around a little bit, that's what it looks like on the inside. You can tell I've taken a little bit of soap out of there. <laughs> Just a little bit. This is a two ounce variety as opposed to four ounce also, I should point that out. Got the uh, Allen Block no rubber band this morning. Still got the uh, Sterling Witch Hazel Black Eyes that's methylated. Got the uh, matching aftershave fresh tree. Smells good too. <laughs> and uh, got cream of beard oil. It's got a little bit of the Shave and Sailor's beard oil in there. This one here is Tea Tree Mint. If you can see that there on the side. Um, they have uh, decided that uh, uh, Tea Tree is not not my favorite scent <laughs> and uh, I'll use that off camera by the way I've got it whipped up here with an Omega Syntec brush it's a synthetic knot small bowl here just got a little bit whipped up it smells great though definitely great for a morning like this uh, blade of choice this morning is uh, Repera and it's a uh, I think it's super stainless I think it is it's double wrapped also if you can see that and the shaver of the day is the, this is a star. The handle and the base plate is a uh, Bakelite. And then you have a metal cap. I've never shaved with this one here, so it's gonna be interesting how this one works out for me. And it comes in a case like this right here. And I uh, did show this yesterday. I think, yeah, to get this open, it does snap pretty good still. And mine, this one here came with the instructions, a little bit of uh, information about razor blade. It's pretty cool to have the instructions that come right along with it. Um, the um, information on this one here is not the easiest to find, but uh, I will say that handle there, if you can see that in the instructions, at the cap on the handle, if you will, at the very end, you notice that it is round, and that is like the handle I have there. But I have seen, and I have to double check, because uh, my thoughts were, there, that's what I had inside there, but everything fits right up in, inside the case there. Um, I have seen one with a, the handle, the cap, if you will, on the end of the handle, how this is round and smooth. Uh, I have seen one with a star on the end of it. And I have to double check and make sure that I got one other one. Make sure that, see if mine's got a star on the end of it or not. But anyway, just a little bit of a variation there. Um, I already put a hot towel to paste this morning. And uh, what's left of the cube there. But the belief is that this came out during World War II which this is a pretty nice setup, I mean, even for travel, um, that's a nice case. And even after all this time, it does, that lid does snap pretty good. So in other words, it's just not gonna slide right on open on you. It takes a little bit of effort to get it open. Go ahead and get this pre-shave on there. So this, uh, this shaver is uh, somewhat on the lightweight side, being baked light. The cap adds a little bit of weight to it. I don't know what the cap's made out of. It's not, um, definitely not brass. Oh, I think I probably should go ahead and point this out too. Uh, for somebody that, because these uh, shavers, there's more than one that looks like this. And this one here is made by Star. And one of the ways you can tell that a star, like the one you, that I shaved with yesterday, you see these posts right here, these pins. You can see that there's little tabs coming out on each side going away from the center and that might be a telltale sign that if this is a star product because a for instance if it was a Gillette it would not have those tabs coming off the pins or the posts there just thought I'd point that out also the uh, probably should show that um, believe it or not that's what it looks like there on the inside Pretty nice shaver. I'm not sure what I'm not sure what kind of metal that is. It 
did try to put a little bit of a shine to it. Definitely didn't have that when I caught it. It was uh, it was almost black. <laughs> it was pretty dark. And you can imagine what this man went through since then, since the 40s. I'm going to see how this blade and the shaver works. I guess you might say just a little concerned about it. Usually these uh, lightweight shavers are uh, somewhat of a challenge for me. Don't always get the smoothest, most comfortable shave with them. And um, we'll be hoping not to get any weepers. At least that'll be the hope. Nicks or cuts either. I have a link down below. Tim uh, has started up a YouTube channel. He's got a few videos. And uh, he was using, which I've seen that soap, and uh, he's got it from Bing Lang. Um, Spicy Bomber, if I've been right. I've got a link down below to his website. And if you want to see uh, somebody else use this soap, she shaves with Jill. Jill's website, YouTube. Uh, channel she uses this so <laughs> kind of reminds me of my wife she was talking one day and she has a habit of talking with her hands and she's trying not to point and she go like this <laughs> give her a hard time about it every once in a while anyway here we go well, this part right here is this starting out pretty decent so um if you look at the comments on yesterday's video, guys are giving me a hard time. And uh, about the, you should might say, my selection of uh, shave uh, gear that I have. And uh, believe it or not, that is one of the uh, things that I would like to do. Of course, I would have to buy a lottery ticket in order to win the lottery, but I sure would like to start a yeah, model store. Not only the website, but also the uh, brick and mortar, because we around here there's there's not enough brick and mortar that carries much of anything. And what Pew does, it's not really for the I can say there's not much there, and it's not for the average guy, from what I hear. And what I've been able to see, not much of a selection. At least they have some, but I won't even go into the price then. I understand everybody's got to make, make a living. That's the reason why I think the, uh, the two would be working in concert with each other. The, online store the brick and mortar thinking that that would two of them working together would make a make it easier to keep prices where they're reasonable for I guess you might say the average guy trying to get a shave on and even though the bulk of what would be in the store would be uh, artists and I would uh, try to reach out for some of those uh, how can you say those old uh, classics that you know used to be available like palm olive for instance you know shaving cream soaps and whatnot that I can get from elsewhere if I can work out the deals I guess you might say where I can get them where I can offer them at a reasonable price yeah it's all big dream but anyway it's fun to think about it they had fun <laughs> yes and I think uh, there's a Douglas has got the right idea, in my opinion, and as well as some others that do the same thing. Is uh, I don't see any shame in uh, if it's your product to demonstrate it, to use it, promote it. That's how I learn. Watching videos like that from uh, people that have stores or whatever the case might be, and. Uh, offer up tips and tricks and 
I watched a number of those and uh, put my spin on what works for me and been doing that ever since. So I don't see a problem with it. I know some people think that it's a terrible thing to do, but but I, uh, I learned a lot from them. It's, uh, it's like the scent. My nose is a terrible nose when it comes to scent. I'm picking out the scents half the time. I, I, I know I smell something, but I, I don't know the scents well enough to really comment one way or the other what's in it. And uh, he's went through that. Talked about uh, how he, you know how he suggests learning the sense of that would be something I'd like to do one day when I've got time. But when I mean, you got a full time job and family's going different directions, um, wife even though she's on the men, she's uh, training out of town for a, a job and uh, then keeping up with the kids with uh, everything they're going go in different directions. Matter of fact, for instance, today I get off work, I'll take my son to a sax lessons. He's a uh, going to try out for a jazz band. And so far he's playing an alto saxophone, tenor, and a berry. And he's going to try out for a jazz band. He's going to a, I mean, a, yeah, a lesson today and then right after a lesson, take him to a concert that he's at, uh, to PAC here, you know, there in Broken Arrow. So it's, you know, yeah, just a little bit busy. And then I think practice again tomorrow, another lesson. And anyhow, you know, he's trying to get everything uh, worked out, trying to win a spot on a jazz band. But, you know, just that and helping the wife out get ready for her next trip. And you might be kind of surprised when it comes to... Uh, Let's say tech support that some of these uh, companies n not too keen on the tech support which is really kind of odd I mean I'm not saying that I'm a geek necessarily when it comes to tech I used to be a lot more involved in it when I am now it's been a few years since I was that deep into it but in other words the basic understanding on how to uh, back stuff up make a backup copy of your whatever it has to be, whether it's photos, uh, documents, PDFs, whatever the case might be. You know, you have a backed up in more than one or two, preferably three different locations. And uh, how many people don't practice that or understand even putting anything on the cloud? I don't know. I understand there's a little bit of a risk putting it on the cloud, but you practice, you know, good security, safety, so on and so forth. It's just like they mentioned, uh, which makes a lot of sense. It doesn't have to be a high-speed computer for any, by any means. But if you, you know, for instance, Chromebook's pretty inexpensive. You can get one for right around two hundred dollars, or even less than that, or refurbished. But if you're handling just your banking finances, credit cards, and stuff like that, if you use only one computer, one computer only for that sort of thing, the risk of uh, you accidentally doing something to put the, all that at risk if you're using that one computer only for that there, the odds of you messing up and clicking on a Facebook link and get you know a virus or anything of the sort but if you just do strictly finances on that hundred two hundred dollar Chromebook chances are if anything going south or you're into trouble you know being compromised pretty slim it's just little things like that. Be kind of surprised. Certain things you don't do, you know, just, you know, practices that I would have thought a lot of companies would be fully aware of by nowadays. Help keep things safe. But anyway. <laughs> Yeah, been kind of busy. As well as prepping for these shakes. I've been looking forward to doing this for a while. It's kind of a, you should say, almost a year long thing that I've been trying to work towards. Uh, 
In other words, this one here, I've had this shaver for a while and uh, working towards December, planning for making this a, a unique shave month, I guess you might say. I think there's just a little bit left. I think we're going to try to pick that up. I have to say, when it comes to feedback, not a whole lot. I'm not saying that's a bad thing by any means. It's just, you know, some shavers, you'll get quite a bit of a feedback. This is not one of them. And it's actually been pretty smooth with this blade. And I think that cap might make, I can say, all the difference in the world. And how the shave went. This has been a pretty decent shave. I guess you might say I'm kind of surprised on how well the shave went. This is a pretty good little shaver. Yeah, I think the top cap made all the difference in the world on the weight and how the shave went. Still does make you kind of wonder why they didn't go ahead and go with a plastic cap outside the uh, concerns about being durable, which I could understand. Thinking back in the time and how all that was taking place and... Uh, certain amount of durability was important. The uh, Some of the handles, uh, for instance, that uh, Douglas puts out on his shavers, you know, will have a middle nut, if you will, in the handle so that when the post screws into it, it's a, something a little bit more on the sturdy side than a piece of plastic that's threaded. I'm kind of surprised. I really am. That, that, that was a pretty good shave. You know, it is smooth, comfortable. Um, I think I'd have to work different angles in order to uh, to catch everything to get a VBS, but uh, I guess you might say mild. Not the closest shave by any means because I still got a little bit that it took a little bit of work to get a close shave, but definitely a comfortable, sociably acceptable. Yeah, this is. Um, Definitely fits in that category. Kind of surprised. That's I've shaved with some lightweight shavers before, and uh, took a little bit of effort to get the blade to go through the whiskers. In other words, because of the lack of the weight, used to shavers that have a little bit of weight behind them, let the weight of the razor, sharp of the blade, sharpness of the blade, do the, all the work for you. Well, when you got a lightweight shaver, it's kind of harder to do that. And uh, this one here did a pretty good job. That's a... Uh, go ahead and take this apart so you can see those tabs. It's kind of hard to see it through the bottom cap. I mean, the base plate. I can't tell for sure, but I'm wanting to say that this one does not have uh, a metal nut, in other words, inside that plastic handle. And if you're wondering... Here's another telltale sign here. Get it cleaned off here. Get some of that soap off there. It may be kind of hard to, to tell. But right there, that center post, on each side it says a star. And you can see the notches there in the, the base plate. And there's the blade. I'll go ahead and take it out so you can see the bottom of the base, the cap. And you can kind of see the materials made out of. But anyway, you can see those little tabs coming out on each side of the post or the pins there. Another way to tell that you got a star product, I guess you might say that would be almost their trademark, if you will. The easiest way to find that. Get started with the witch hazel here. This series has been fun this month, though. I have a uh, few more shavers lined up. I've got a Merker that I bought a while back. And if it's still available, matter of fact, I think I'll probably go ahead and... I don't know if I... 
and the pins I found it on sale on eBay if you will it's a it's a version that is no longer made and I'm gonna make an assumption that the the cap you know the cap of the base plate is just like the the 34 um, C that this one here is the same thing just a different handle and this handle is a different shape but uh, it looks like it's no longer in production and uh, I thought I'd give it a try it was uh, but anyhow I seen it on eBay priced as a uh, brand new shipped if I remember correctly for $25 Matter of fact I think I'll just go ahead and put a link down below and um, if you're interested in a discontinued worker uh, Matter of fact, it's the only one, so it wouldn't surprise me if the thing is gone. Uh, darn good price for a brand new shaver that's discontinued. The handle is a unique shape, and that might be one of the reasons why it's not near as popular as the others. The shape at the end, in other words, is tapered. Gonna be smelling good today. I'm going to put a little bit more on there. Pretty good shave this morning. Quite impressed with this shaver. I was expecting a, a little bit more of a struggle. But yeah, that was pretty smooth. Face feels great. Had a great shave this morning. Hope everybody's doing well. Stay safe and spoo shaves to you.